Hello YouTube, how are you? I am back with another unboxing. Um, you may see this outfit a couple times because I am doing multiple videos in one day. So you know how that goes in the YouTube world. So um, anyway, I am doing a unboxing or a, it's kind of an unboxing and unbagging video um, on my recent purchases from Bloomingdale's. Bloomingdale's was having an amazing sale. When I tell you, I, I'm not, I don't shop Bloomingdale's a lot, but I will say that when they have sales, they really, really, really had sales. And then I had an amazing sales associate that um, gave me some extra discounts. Um, so listen, if you do not know, I'm going to go ahead and throw this out here for you guys because you know I'm always trying to give you knowledge and information on how you can save money. So Bloomingdale's usually, um, their sales associates can give you an additional 10 to 15% off. Um, so if you find a snag, a rip, or something small that you don't mind dealing with, um, you know, ask your sales associate if they can give you an additional discount. I'm really interested in the purchase, but I was just wondering, you know, what would really seal the deal for me, and I'm giving you what I would say, what would really seal the deal for me is if you could give me an additional percentage off so that um, I will feel comfortable with this purchase. So anyway, just a side note. So I hope that you enjoy this video in my channel. You guys, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to go ahead and show you my purchases. Y'all ready? Woo! I'm ready. Okay. So this was kind of a random purchase. I was actually with Hubby trying to shop for him. And... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to just be his personal shopper. My husband hates shopping. The only time I can get him to enjoy shopping is if we are out of the country. If we are like out of town, out of the country, and he is in total relax mode, or maybe it's total, I know I'm going to spend some money mode, he'll shop. But outside of that, it's like pulling teeth. He just does not enjoy it. So I was trying to get him to um, pick up some stuff, but anyway. So while we was at the Bloomingdale's for him, I saw this baby. And when I pulled this out, y'all gonna be like, what? And even my bestie is like, I don't know about that bag. But when I tell you, some things just hit me and it's like art. And this is one of those things. Oh, and before I get started, let me go ahead and do this real quick because I know I'm gonna get some questions. So what I'm wearing, my lipstick, really, really quick, I have on Lime Crime, Crime, Lime Crime Pom Pom Lipstick, and it's just a pretty kind of a nudie color. It's like a pinky nude color. If I can find the link, I'll link it down. And then I have on my favorite Black Opal French Roast. This is one of my favorite lip liners. And then, of course, I always put this on prior to any of my matte lipstick. This is kind of a matte lipstick, so this is the cutest thing ever in life. It is from Soft Lips, and it is, has a Hello Kitty on it, and it's just a lip balm. It, it looks like that. I can't think of that other brand. There's another brand that's known for the little balm thing. So th that's what I have on. I'm doing this. I'm trying to add this inside of the video because I always get questions. I'm trying to do it at the beginning. Um, even though y'all need to make sure y'all watch to the end because I will be adding um, giveaways in my videos and um, I'm going to put them in random spots so if you do not watch the video you will not know where said giveaway is. So look out for that. I am going to start that within the next, I ain't going to tell you when, but I'm going to be starting that. Next thing I have on today sense of the video I'll say or sense of the day is the Gucci Bloom um, got this for Christmas and I am hoping and wishing and praying that spring come on so I decided to put my balloon on so yeah that's it so let's get on to my purchases yeah so as you can see it's from MCM 
And I am not a huge MCM fan, so this is crazy that I love this bag. Yes. So first, let me pull it out. Yay! I love this bag, you guys. It is so cute. Oh my God. The battery died. It actually died at a good time because I was able to look up the official name of this handbag. So, showing you my little cutie pie there. Let me turn it around. Turn it around. It also comes with a crossbody strap. That I cannot get on with right now. Really? What is happening? What's happening, y'all? What's happening? Anyway, I figured out. So it's just a little bitty tiny bag that I don't know why I fell in love with it, but I did. But the name of this bag, the official name of it is the MCM Women Limited Edition Collaboration Mila. Japar mini tote bag. So it is the Mila mini tote bag. And I will um, try to add a um, picture of the bag. But anyway, you can't. The only place I found this bag is it's selling right now um, on eBay. And I think I saw it on Poshmark, but um, this is from from what I was told from the MCM store, and they were shocked. Um, even though that's another story, you guys. MCM store here in Atlanta, customer service sucks. Um, probably why I'm not a fan of MCM because um, yeah, the customer service is awful. The one in Atlanta, the one at the Lenox Mall. So, not talking about all the MCM, but like I said, that one, I don't like it. So anyway, so when I was in the MCM store, um, cause I was trying to, I was asking them uh, what I was, this is what happened. I told them, I said, I have a YouTube channel and I am um, wanting to see if you would give me a, bag or a box or something like that and the lady the manager proceeded to tell me that because I did not purchase the bag from MCM that kick rocks and so I told her I told her I said here's the deal I am doing a video where I will be giving you self free promotion and all I'm asking is that you give me a handbag I mean a handbag, I'm sorry, that would have been cool. But if that you give me a box or a bag so that I can get you She proceeded to tell me the only way I was going to get a bag is if I purchased something from the store. And the crazy thing is they actually have really, really cute, um, what are they, you put it on your purse. It's, I mean, it's a, um, I cannot think right now, you guys. What is it called? It's the scarf. Hermes has it, it's called a Twilly scarf, but they had some cute scarves that I wanted um, that I saw that I did not see online, but I saw in person at the MCM store. And because their customer service was so awful, I didn't get them. I was just like, I got a ton of them. They may not say MCM on them, but I'm gonna just go ahead and skip it because what you're not gonna do is give me bad customer service and then Think I'm gonna spend some coin with you, so not gonna happen. So back to the bag, anyway. So like I said, it's a limited edition bag. They do sell the mini Mila's. This bag came, um, so it has the. This is real leather. I mean, real hair, some type of hair. I can't remember. And then the leather is is butter, you guys. Butter, butter, butter. So um, the sides. This bag came either with the red leather or the blue leather. So the red leather has a blue uh, pooch, and I'll show you that in a minute. The little poof, um, it was like a fox fur poof. And one of the reasons why I was able to get this bag at such a good price is because, uh, number one, it was already severely discounted. And then number two, I was able to get an additional 15% off because I pointed out to them after doing my research that it was missing the poof, the little poof thing. 
even though you can get that on Amazon, but I'll show you. I'll show you the replacement, and I'll show you what it was supposed to come with. So yeah, check that out in my blog if you want to um, see that. Um, but anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. So anyway, I just didn't get the thing because I didn't like it. But they did tell me that this handbag um, was a lot of money. It was originally, do I even have the... I think the original price was right at $1,900. And you know, I ain't paid nowhere near that. I paid more than I wanted to though. But I just really love this bag. I'm gonna stand up. I don't know if you can see it. And you guys, bear with me. I am redoing, actually setting up my office. And you know, it's not all the way set up, so I don't know what you can and can't see. But it's real cute. It's just a cute little, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can of course carry it like that as well and oh that's what I was mentioning so it, it comes like I said either blue leather on the side with the red poof or red like the one I got with the um, blue poof so I was able to go on the amazon.com and find me a fox fur poof to go on the bag so this is how the bag is supposed to trying to find it. It had like a little spot for it. Um, anyway, you guys, so it comes, this is what it's supposed to look like. So it comes like that with a little poof on the side of the bag. And I, when I tell you guys, I absolutely love this bag. I'm really, really trying to convince myself to take it back. But because I got it at such a great price and I got a gift card, to me, it just would make no sense to return it because if I return the bag, then I have to give up the gift card value and the gift card value was used to purchase said items that's in here. So, I don't know if I wanna mention the prices or whatever, but let's just say, okay, so, anyway, so I was able to get this poof, real fox fur, which is what originally came with it, um, right at 20 something dollars so I saved myself an additional so she gave me an additional 15% off I don't know she ended up taking it some type of way the bag was and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the price because I can't do it without it's not gonna make any sense so the bag when I originally got it was um, like $660, which was more than I wanted to spend. But I also got a $175 um, or $150 gift card that could be used immediately. So if you take the $600 and some dollars, $660, and then you take the $150 off, then, you know, that's $500 right so I was like okay $500 this is a cute bag the bag was originally $1,800 let me see if I have it oh bam we got it in here so this helps so the bag was originally um, $1,800 and then it got marked down to uh, $1,200 and then um, it got marked down to $900 and then um, when I got it, it was like I said, and I'm, I'm including tax, so it wasn't, it was like 610, but the sales tax in Buckhead is crazy. It's like 9% or something crazy. So it was, ended up being 660, including the, the tax. And then, um, so anyway, I got the 150 for that. So. And then, like I said, so when I sent her the picture and told her that it was missing the pouch, then it went down to actually 500. It was actually 497, but um, we rounded it up to 500 so that I can keep my $150 um, bucks or whatever. So 500, and then you take 150 off of that. I think that's worth it for this bag. 
So that's why I'm having a hard time returning it. So that's the one thing I got from the Bloomies. Cute, cute, cute. And then the day that I went back to um, have her fix the price um, or pick up the bag because it was a pre-sale. So that's what it was. If I would have got it that day, it would have been um, $800. But if I pre-sold it, then that's when it went to the $600. And then um, the day that I went to pick up the bag, so I bought it on a Sunday, went to pick it up on a Wednesday, um, which allowed me to do the research. Once she realized that it was missing the poof thing, then she took it from the $660 to literally it was $497. Uh, and then we just wound it up to the 500 so that I could keep the 150 um, card. And then while I was there, I saw this, you guys. <laughs> Love this Moschino wallet on chain. Do y'all see this? I don't even think Hubby knows I got this. Did I just scratch this bag? I think I just scratched the bag. Uh, I don't Okay, let me be careful. I need to get my nails done. So anyway, so this is the Moschino wallet on chain. And it comes with this chain right there. And I think what I'm gonna do to make this video faster is I'll just do um, the shots at the end to um, show you guys what it looks like on. But very, very cute wallet on chain. And what did I pay for this one? I'm trying to remember you guys. I believe I paid 300 for this one. This one was originally um, 650 and I got it for um, 300. So I couldn't pass that up because this is so, so cute. So I got the Moschino wallet on chain while I was there. Where's the thing at? Oh. And then, so when I got the Moschino wallet on chain for 300, it also came with a $50. Um, was it 50 or $25? But another gift card. Another gift card. The, my total gift card purchases was $175. So I don't know if this one was $125 and this one was $150. But anyway, together it was $175 and what they call B money. So, of course, when I got that one, y'all, I love this bag. It's a whole story on this bag. And I'm going to try to make it quick because this video is long. But let me just say this. Saw this exact um mosquito bag at TJ Maxx for it was $449 on clearance and I was like oh I love it oh I love it oh I love it but the mosquito bag there ended up being um the hardware wasn't the color that I that I know that I love so I was like mm, I think I'm gonna pass it I'm gonna pass it Past, but I really wanted because it's mosquito. Mosquito is fire. Five dollars for a mosquito bag. That's a, anyway. So I ended up letting. Um, so I passed on the bag, and then um, someone that I ran into that I am um, loving, hoping, and praying for her speedy recovery. But um, her name is Get Body by Jay. Ended up picking the bag up that day, and so when I saw her with the bag, I was like, you know, girl, I almost had that bag but I didn't want it in the, the um, hardware that it was. So you better be glad I, I, I went on and left it. So anyway, she ended up getting about the bag. And would you believe the Lord done blessed me, you guys? So while I was at the Bloomingdale's um, picking up the Moschino wallet on chain, this bag, somebody had actually returned this bag. Or oh, they found it in the bag. I forgot which one she said. Do y'all see? So this is the bag that I was originally going to get at TJ Maxx. So my awesome sales associate was like, well, if you wait till this sale ends, 
I'll go ahead and put this in the back for you. And we can just finger cross that the price doesn't go up because Bloomingdale's does games and all the stores does is with their prices. So she was like, I'll put the bag in the back for you and then when the sale goes off on um, Saturday, you can pick it up Sunday and use your B money. So the bag, you guys, was already marked down to $300. And then I had $175 in B money. So out of the, you know, including tax, I ended up getting this bag for $150. Love, 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 love the bag. So I'm going, I'm on a little bag kick right now. I don't know what's happening, but you can wear it as a crossbody or as this little, I would probably never wear it like this because I got too many bags like that. But I like that you have the option, and then like I said, I would wear it as a crossbody. And I probably would put my wallet on chain inside of this. So yeah, so I'm really, really, like I said, trying to talk myself out of um, keeping all of them. But it's like I got everything for such a good price. I don't know if it makes sense, because like I said, if I return this, then I'm going to end up paying the full $300 for this bag and with the taxes it'll be right so what's the point what's the point so like I said I usually don't give you guys prices but because this is such a great sale I am throwing the prices in don't expect that in all of my bag I mean all of my reviews because I just or unboxings because I just like I said don't like the wrong prices out but Bloomingdale's is still having an amazing sale so anyway, so got that bag, and then I was, I'm on the fence, oh man, I had the receipts here, I knew I had the receipts, anyway, so I'm on the fence, you guys, about um, the Moschino, if I was to take anything back, it may be the Moschino, I doubt if I'll take anything back, I ain't gonna lie, because I just think this bag is very, very unique, and all of these bags to me are classics that you will have forever you know this bag looks this the little bag that I'm putting back up reads um Celine to me it's giving me Celine it doesn't just say MCM 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 which I like it just looks like a classic unique different bag so I probably will just keep it and like I said that's just what I'm doing so anyway that's that so the last thing you guys that I got from the Bloomingdale's, I was online because though I like the Moschino wallet on chain, I really, really like the MCM, the Vistios or some weird name, wallet on chain because it has the, um, you can just put more wallets, um, what do you call it? it just has more compartments and it's a little smaller and so what I'm looking for is a wallet on chain that I can have everything in it but then switch them in and out of my bags and I really feel like the pink Moschino one is a little too big for that it's almost just like a, a per it's more on the purse side than wallet on chain if that makes any sense so anyway I was online and I was like should I get this one should I get it should I get it I don't know and Instead of me getting it, I saw this. And I'm only shopping like this because the stuff is on, on sale. And Bloomingdale's has an amazing return policy. You can return stuff at least up to a year, if not longer, um, as long as it's in sellable condition. So if you, so if you purchase something, and then it just stays in your closet and you're like, I don't really like this. If it's within a year, you can return that bad boy and then put it right back, give you your money back. So anyway, so I was online and I was really, like I said, contemplating. And I still may get it, you guys, I don't know. We'll see. But um, I saw this and if you don't know, I am a, let me just open it up, why do they do this? 
Okay. So this is what I got. Y'all are probably gonna be surprised. This is the first time I saw it. I mean, I'm unboxing it with you. So you see it's the Moschino shoe box. Got these sneakers. So I am already shopping for um, spring summer, and you know I'm going to the UK in a few months. So I just thought these bad boys were very very cute. I love um, the uniqueness of them. I hope they're not too big. They looking big to me. We're gonna see. Anyway, so I got this. Got this at a good price as well. More than I wanted to spend though. But the sneakers were, um, I don't like to do prices, you know, because you're not resale. But anyway, got this. I think they were um, maybe 60% off. The original price, that's why I got them. So they were over a hundred, they were like one, they were around 150, I'm gonna just say it. And they were originally um, posted five, right at 500. So I have been looking at these for, and what's crazy, they have been looking at them for a minute. And they were 269, I was like, I'm not paying 269 plus tax, I'm not doing that. And then um, Bloomingdale's had like a random one day sale. But if you get it right now, it, it went down even more, maybe to the 75%, whatever it was. So it, that's when I got it for like, I'm gonna just say right at 150. And um, I'm okay with that for some Moschinos. I'm okay with that. They don't say Moschino, but they're made very well. So could you go and get a shoe that looks similar to this? from a um, cheaper store, probably. But I will tell you, this shoe is made very, very well. And I'm older, so I cannot wear the teeny bopper shoes. I wish I could, but I can't wear the Forever 21 ones. I mean, I can sometimes, but what I'm saying is, when you're going out of town and you want a nice, comfortable shoe, you know, with some good soles and inside, all of that, you, you know. You gotta spend a little bit more. So that's that. So that is the end of my Bloomingdale's haul. Like I said, I just purchased all of these. Oh, and then also, you guys, make sure that you click my link to sign up for eBay. I like to do most of my shopping online because a lot of the stores gives you cash back. So, for example, I got this for you know 150. And then I believe Bloomingdale's that day was giving, and it fluctuates, but they were giving a 4% um, cash back on your purchase. So, you know, in two months, I'll get that 4% back. You take 4% off of the price I spent. That's a further discount. And they send you checks and cash. I mean, you can either get it to your PayPal or a check. But yeah, sign up, click my link to sign up for Ebates because like I said, you'd be surprised at the additional discounts that you receive from shopping online. So I usually go in the store, see what I want, purchase it online. But what a lot of stores is doing is that the prices may be different. So of course, if I can purchase it cheaper online, I mean, in the store, I'm going to do that. Um, hence, all of these bags were not online because they were returns. So I wouldn't have been able to get the handbag online. So, you know, but anyway, if you can, make sure you purchase all your stuff online and get that for the discount. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's not too long. Um, I'm gonna, I got a couple more unboxings to do. And I love you guys. Like I said, make sure you like, comment. If you have any questions that are not already answered in my blog, or, um, sorry about that, I got a text. But anyway, if, if you have any questions that I have not answered, feel free 
to uh, leave a comment below. I answer all questions. I'm one, like I said, if I, even if I don't mention it, I don't like to mention prices. But if you ask me what something costs, I will um, answer you back. So, love you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know, make sure you live a stylish and fabulous life. And until my next video, I love you guys. All right, signing off. Bye.